they said yeah. to him, well, no, you're just a participant. Yeah. You know, we can maybe let you co-author something else. And he ended up, according to the story, going to the transferences of energy between people in conversations to call exactly that kind of stuff. And as it's going We're gonna try something a little unusual. Um, I've got a, a hole right here that, that pushes out from underneath a log, so um, I don't think we're gonna see fish like in this main push right here because that water really does boil out uh, heavy from under the log. So I don't think we're gonna see fish, fish hanging here in this main push. Or even right now on the edge there, it's really a, a, a fast current. I don't see them hanging in there. I don't see a seam really, maybe on the very edge. But right here, right in the middle, and to the right, you see this, you see this seam. And I can just imagine, I can't see them, but I can just imagine a fish hanging right there in that, in that seam. Now I'm gonna do some experimenting. I'm not, I haven't seen any fish yet this morning. Um, I'm gonna experiment by just, uh, just drifting a little uh, zebra, flashback zebra, through here on a little um, foam indicator, just to see if there's any action. But what I plan on doing here is is really trying to find what what a fish might take. Just imagine, just and just assuming that fish are there. I think one of the problems that we have is that uh, we just don't trust that they're there and we and we give up and we move on. So I don't see any action here. I don't see any movement toward that little zebra. And it's a tungsten bead, so it gets down there pretty pretty quickly. So they're definitely seeing it. Again, I'm assuming that they're there. I'm assuming something's just hanging there. I'm waiting for the right food. Okay, so no, no action on the tungsten zebra. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. Just to try to imitate a, a little stonefly. Now, even though it's not stonefly season, there's still stonefly larvae, or excuse me, stonefly nymphs in the, in the riverbed, and they're when we get a little more light, it gets closer to springtime like it is now, you get a little more active. So we'll see if fish key on this, this fly. Again, I'm assuming they're there, right on that edge, edge of the current. All right, no action on the large prince nymph. Okay, the last fly I showed you wasn't, it's not a prince nymph, I'm sorry about that, it's a pheasant tail. Um, but, and we didn't get any takes on that. So we're gonna go with a little more realistic imitation of a stonefly um, nymph. Uh, this is a variation of probably a Kaufman's. Um, just a little black, little black stone, kind of a crazy stone. But uh, I'm gonna actually put a little bit of weight on this. So just a couple of little lead split shot. We've got that more realistic stone fly. I'm still keeping that little pinch on indicator, but let's see what we come up with here. No movement toward it at all. All right, we're just moving up the evolutionary chain here. Now we've got a little squirrel, squirrel streamer. Let me get it wet first. I don't think there's any real reason to pull off that indicator. Let's just float a streamer through there. Let me get the streamer a little closer into the current too. That thing's real heavy, so it's going to go go down deep and get stuck on rocks and things. Try the gamut and, and realize there's nothing going to bite in that hole. I guess we can move on. I 
Oh, and we have a fish. And we have a trout. Look at that. What do you know? Victory. Little brown trout. I'm gonna wet our hands before we touch him. Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that. All right. Get him back in the water. There you go, baby. That's a feisty one. Boy, that fish hit hard. One thing about streamers is uh, gonna get the, the bigger fish. Oh, that's for sure. Wow, that's a nice whatever that is. That's a it's largish. There we go. Nice brown. You know, like a 15 incher. There we go. Wow. Scrappy bugger. They're not liking that pure white zonker. I'm gonna switch to a cone head that uh, squirrel tail. Good old trusty. See what happens. definitely goes deeper, faster, but I also think they, it looks more like a fish that they're used to sculping or something. Water's still so cold. Oh, stuck 
I'm a log, dang it. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, broke off. Not caught underneath the log. 